Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a new installment in the Luxury Will I Buy It series. But here on my channel, we like to add a little French twist. So for collections we want, we say oui. And for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As many of you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is great if you have any makeup in your collection that you can't quite seem to make work for you, whether it's eyeshadow or blush or lipstick, and you don't want to throw it out, and you just want some advice on application or maybe mixing it with something else, this is a great chance to book a consultation with me. So if you want to make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. Now, before we dive into today's video, as you can tell, my hair is straightened. I got a haircut yesterday, so obligatory. I had to have it straightened afterwards. Like I can't get a haircut without getting my hair straightened. For me, that's just like such a treat. It's so wonderful. So if you see me playing with my hair, all video it's just because my hair is like so straight and so smooth and I'm not used to it so please just bear with me and side note look at how long my hair is it's fabulous okay so will I buy it so the first blog here is Tavia at chic profile official all the blogs used are in the description box I encourage you to go check them out first up here is something from Givenchy makeup so a lot of these are going to be spring releases for the new year this is their sparkling love collection for 2022 this is going to start trickling out in early January in Asia so first up are three limited editions lip shades and the, the theme or the name is called sparkling love i think it's really cute and wonderful the packaging the promo looks sparkling and glittery it looks very lovely there will also be a new prism libre blush now we saw these that came out last year these loose powder blushes i have a few of them i did a whole video series on them i think they're wonderful but the problem was or still is that those ones are not available worldwide. Like I bought mine, I think through Harrods or Selfridges, like some sort of UK retailer. And I know a lot of you are interested. So this one here in the photo is limited edition and I believe it's going to be an exclusive to Japan and China. So if you really, really want this, I'd highly recommend a personal shopper because I'm not certain if it's going to come to us. I do have a liaison person at Givenchy I sent them an email and they told me that, you know, worldwide there are different uh, requirements for ingredient lists and that could be part of the reason why the original Prism Libre blushes were not available to North America right away. Unfortunately, I don't have a date or a release or any information about those original Prism Libre blushes like these ones here. I don't know when these will be officially coming to North America to be sold at Canadian and US retailers. I was really hoping with this launch here, with this collection, that we would see these launched in the rest of the world. But I think, unfortunately, we'll have to wait a little bit. Fingers crossed that these do come out to the, the rest of the world globally, like 2022, because I have, I think, two or three shades, and they're all amazing. I love them. They're just such beautiful blushes. They're very opaque and pigmented and last a long time, and like it just looks so extra. It's so beautiful. So, yeah. I think that this collection looks very pretty and just very lovely overall. Will this come to Canada or retailers that I can shop through? Honestly, I really don't know. It says here that the blush is an Asia exclusive only, but sometimes they're wrong about that, but oftentimes they're right. So I don't know, time will tell. Like if you really, really want any of these items, use a personal shopper. So I'm gonna say that this is a peut-être, which means maybe, because if it was available to me, I would get the blush for sure. The lip balms, maybe, peut-être, maybe. Okay, moving on to NARS, we have a couple collections here. This is the Light Reflecting Skincare Collection, which is going to be released in February 2022. Now, I was confused by this because 
NARS already has a skincare or had a skincare. I don't know if they've slowly phased out their skincare, but they used to have a toner that I really enjoyed. They had masks, they had like um, moisturizers, eye creams, like they had like really just like a base, a baseline of skincare for everything. And I don't know if they reformulated it or discontinued it and coming out with something new, but we have new items here. So we have a light reflecting multi-action treatment lotion, so a toner. We have a light reflecting moisturizer, light reflecting eye cream and lash gel, and a light reflective night treatment. This looks exactly like what was available before. I'm certain they did something new, changed the ingredients, made them cleaner perhaps, but this looks exactly like what was available before. The reason I know this is I've never worked for NARS, but when I worked at the Chanel counter, we were directly in front of NARS, and so sometimes when it got a little bit slow, the, the Chanel girls and the NARS girls would kind of just like, you know, hang out a little bit, and so I saw their products, and for me, this is exactly what was available like seven or eight years ago. So it must be a new formulation. As I mentioned, the toner at the time, I really enjoyed it. It was quite hydrating and their mask was nice too. So, I mean, I think this is a maybe, but that in reality, I don't need more skincare. I have more than enough and testing out skincare. I, I'd rather test out makeup and skincare because skincare, like you need to really test it out and see if it has the right effects. And your skin, like my skin is not a guinea pig. I don't want to just throw anything at it. So this is going to be a maybe, but that. Continuing with NARS, now we have some cosmetics. This is for the Lunar New Year in 2022. It's starting in Japan first. It's starting January 1st, but I think the Lunar New Year starts in, later this year in February. But anyway, so here is a makeup collection. Here we have a pressed powder and then an eyeshadow palette. Honestly, the eyeshadow palette I think looks really nice. I like the packaging, you know, the red and gold I think looks nice. I don't think the packaging is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, but it's just like, it looks nice. But the colors of the eyeshadow I think are really lovely. It's like warm and golden. It looks very, user-friendly, very versatile, very much like an everyday palette. Like these colors just look very easy to use. There's nothing like too, too dark, nothing like out there. It just looks really beautiful and just like very simple. I love a quad. I love a small eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm just relieved or relieved to see a small palette from NARS because they tend to do giant palettes. Although I've tried some of their giant palettes recently and have been very pleasantly surprised. So I don't know. And then here we have the pressed powder. You know, I'm not like the biggest powder girl. I, I have dry, dehydrated skin. Like I do put a little bit of face powder. I'm wearing the Chantecai Perfect Blur Powder just a little bit. So whenever I see a, a new powder or like a limited edition packaging powder compact, it's not necessarily the item that calls my heart the most, but if you want a new powder compact, it has a little puff. That's always fun to apply. The packaging looks lovely. I like that it's also a very small collection. I appreciate the brevity of the collection. It's not like 35 items. I'd like to see this eyeshadow palette because the promo photos always look a little bit different than actual real life photos. But to me, this is a wee. I think I would get the eyeshadow palette on my own. I don't know if I would get the powder. I just don't know if I would really get that much use out of it. Like it's not a product that I've hit pan on. Like I don't think I've ever hit pan on a powder. I mean, maybe like 10 years ago before I had a channel, but not in the recent uh lifespan so this is a mixed bag for me it's going to be a wee on the eyeshadow palette and a peut-être on the face powder so next up is something from lancome now lancome is a brand that hasn't really been making that many waves in the beauty world recently which i think is a shame you know it's a prestigious luxury french beauty brand i don't know why they've sort of fallen off the wagon a bit but I have hope for them. So this is the iconic Lancôme Rouge Absolu lipstick. It says here it's being renewed. I'm not certain if that means reformulated or if it's being reinstated, but the wording is renewed and it will be launching January 1st in Asia. 
we are going to see a cream and also a drama matte formula. A lot of brands now are doing bullet matte lipsticks. I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge today, but I like a bullet matte more than a liquid matte. Like I have some liquid mattes that I like, but overall a bullet matte is much more comfortable and less drying here. So the photos look beautiful. I love the top photo of the melted lipstick. It looks beautiful and glossy. And then just the photo of the bullet lipsticks with the colors like twisted out. It looks lovely. I think it looks really nice. So we can see a little bit of the packaging at the bottom of the bullet here. Kind of looks like something wrapped around the base of the bullet. And then we have some close-ups here. The glossy top color looks really nice. It looks like a sort of like a pinky rosewood, sort of like an everyday. Then we have the bottom one is like a classic matte bold red. This other photo here is really nice. Those two shades sort of look like they're sisters. They kind of look like one is a cream version and one is a matte version. These look lovely. You know, maybe with these, like if you don't love a super creamy lipstick, you could always layer the matte bullet lipstick underneath and then apply some of the glossy cream lipstick over top just to make it more wearable. It really does look like a lot of these colors are going to just have a matte and cream version so that's kind of nice it's always nice to have options so here we have a photo of the classic bullet i mean it looks very long comb it has that beautiful rose on the top here so yeah this will be coming out in the new year do you need any new lipsticks now for me this is going to be a peut-être a maybe because do i really need more lipstick now that's a question. I think I would have to see a color that I really love. Um, I hope the wear is nice, but yeah, I think I'd have to see a color that I love. I think for color cosmetics, like lipstick eyeshadow, it's really when you see a color that you're like, yep, that one. So we'll see, but that. Okay, moving on to a different account. This is Suga Kondo. So they have posted something from Givenchy Beauty. I'm certain you are aware of the iconic cult classic Prism Libre loose powder from Givenchy. So they're coming out with a pressed version. This makes so much sense. I'm surprised they haven't done a pressed one yet. So I think that this is going to be just like the regular Prism Libre uh, powders. So this is all written in Japanese. I hit Google Translate, which is not like the most reliable translator. According to Google Translate, it says Givenchy's masterpiece from the original word unknown after a blockbuster current visage evolves into the Libre pressed powder. Okay, so it's just taking the iconic loose powder into a pressed powder. According to Google Translate, while keeping the height of the Presto hype, uh, add lightness and transparency to the ultra-fine particles of the Prism Libre. So yeah, combining the latest model with improved unevenness covering power and shiny prevention powder, I think what Google is trying to say is that there's going to be an improvement in the lasting power, in the shine prevention, and correcting because the loose powders do have a blend of different shades and so it might be able to add a bit of correcting to your powder as well. Combining a silky luster with an elegant matte without shine, I'm impressed because it doesn't feel dry even when layered. Great. Even if you finish it with just this, you will get a high quality aura skin. Okay, Google. It's a stiff presto, like, oh, like a, like a stiff pressed powder. Okay. And it's amazing that it doesn't decrease at all. Maybe it doesn't fade away. I think that's what they, I think that's what Google is trying to say here. And it's supposed to be released February 4th. So in the new year, we will hopefully see worldwide these pressed Prism Libre powders from Givenchy. I certainly will give you updates, especially if I get any updates personally from my liaison at the Givenchy Beauty House. Okay, moving on to a different account. This is Bite Kikom. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but here we have a spring release from Dior. So 
I have thoughts on this collection here and I posted this on Instagram and I know a lot of people are excited for this release. To me, this is a lot of what we've seen before from Dior. Like when it comes to their spring releases, they always have a pink vein and a peachy vein. It kind of, you know what I mean? Like there's always an eyeshadow, a blush stick, etc. Personally speaking, I don't like the formula of these eyeshadow trios. I've tried them. They're not the same as the five shadow palettes. They're drier. They don't perform as well. Honestly, when I think of this, it makes me think that if I get anything from this collection, I only want the sides. Oftentimes, the sides are better than the main. You know, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, mac and cheese, stuffing, the sides are better than the main. Here we have some eyeshadow palettes, the lip glows, we have lip maximizers, we have lipsticks, we have the blush sticks, looks like a blush stick and then like a highlighter stick, and then nail polish. You know, I don't think this is for me. I, eh, something is just not calling my name. And I think that's okay because Dior comes out with so many releases. Peter Phillips just never takes a weekend off. And so even though this may be the official spring launch, there will be other launches. There's going to be new powder compacts, new foundation compacts, new lipsticks, etc. like throughout the year. So I don't think this is for me. Like the eyeshadows, like I said, no. The lip maximizers, I'm sure they're nice. Like there's a pearlescent one, there's a, a bold red one, and then the lip glow, there's like a red a pearlescent, and then one that's like more of like a beigey nude. The lipsticks look nice. I mean, I have several lipsticks from Dior. They're all lovely. It's just that the colors really are not calling to me, and I'm really disappointed with the nail colors. Like personally, I don't love opalescent nail colors. I don't know. It's just not for me. Like it's really, really not. Like these colors look way too light. Like I like a white manicure. I like a neutral manicure sometimes, but when the nail polish looks like it's the same skin tone as my hand, oof, it's just not for me. This is this is a non merci. Like oof, non merci. I will save my money. I will get the Houndstooth Compact and Lipstick, which will be coming out like a month after this. So I'm not that heartbroken. This is not for me. No merci. I can see why it's for other people because it does look very spring. It looks floral and pretty, but I don't know. I want, I want something else. I'm gonna save my money and spend it elsewhere. All right, moving on to a different account. This is the Trend Mood One page, and we have a new hair product here from Briogeo. This is the Don't Despair Repair. This is the rice water treatment, intensive professional strength treatment that strengthens the hair cuticle and supports healthy hair elasticity. Helps protect the hair against future damage with rice-derived protein, water, ferment, and oil. It's supposed to be for dry damaged hair and all textures. So when I first saw the photo, I was really intrigued because they showed a photo of curly hair and I was like, ooh, I have curly hair naturally, normally. But then they showed a photo of just like straight hair. And I don't know, I just feel like curly hair and straight hair often have very different needs, but I guess it is for dry and damaged hair. So, you know, if you have dry and damaged hair, this could be for you, like especially if you color a lot, your hair might be a bit dried. So I have to make a correction. This is a Don't Despair Repair collection. It's not just a treatment. There's going to be a shampoo, a strengthening treatment, a deep conditioning mask, and a strengthening oil treatment. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, like strengthening, if you have dry hair, damaged hair, like there's like a whole collection here for you. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have hair products that I enjoy. I'll ask my hairdresser what she thinks, but I don't know. This is like a peut-être, a maybe. I just feel like my skin or my, sorry, my hair care routine, I enjoy, knock on wood, until my hair decides otherwise. I could try maybe one of these, maybe the mask, but I have like, so I have naturally curly hair, but I also have very naturally thin and fine hair. So it's sort of like an oxymoron because the majority of products for curly hair are very, very rich and heavy, and that is the opposite of what I need. So maybe I could try the oil just to like add a little bit at the end of my hair care routine 
or maybe a shampoo i don't know i just think that the deep conditioning mask will just like weigh my hair down a lot so peut-être maybe next up i saw something here that i really wanted to share with you this is new from tatcha so this is the texture tonic aha liquid exfoliating treatment I am so happy to see this. This reminds me of the liquid exfoliant from Paula's Choice, from Chantecaille. These types of products are great. So a lot of people are kind of worried when it comes to exfoliants like these because it sounds too harsh, it sounds abrasive, but it's actually really, really gentle. It's usually more gentle than um, a mechanical scrub that you manipulate. This is a type of toner you apply all over your skin and your neck if you're suffering from neck acne. Like, I swear, honestly. With a mask wearing, and then now that it's cold, I'm wearing scarves, and so my neck is just breaking out. It's not fun. Anyway, this type of product is great because the acids in it tend to be fruit acids, and so they just like eat away the dead skin cells and the gunk and the debris. These types of products will usually help with excess oil, the appearance of pores. This is just like a really great skincare product to have in your collection. So if you like Tatcha, if you like this type of skincare product, like if you have acne, if you have mask knee, neck acne, if you have enlarged pores, if you have lots of oil, even discoloration, this can be a good product for you because it just gently exfoliates every day. I normally use this type of liquid exfoliant only at night and I don't even do it every single night, like maybe every other night, every third night. I kind of see what's going on and what my skin needs. So it doesn't even have to be something you use every single night, but this looks really great. I think it looks really promising. All right, next up is a new fragrance. So this is part of the Kayali line. I believe this is Huda Beauty or her sister who have this fragrance line. And there's a new perfume out. I actually really like these perfumes. They have a lot of really nice, sweet vanilla ones. And then this one here looks really enticing. It's called Eden Juicy Apple. It sounds delicious. It's fruity and floral and deliciously sweet. It's a fusion of crisp, juicy apples, sweet berries, and fresh floral notes. Honestly, that sounds like something I would like. We have juicy red apple, black currant, pink grapefruit, and lychee. I love those. It sounds like a really delicious fruit salad. Then we also have raspberry blossom, jasmine, rose. Then at the end, we have some vanilla flower, some amber. You know, I'm sure that this is going to be a very sweet perfume, but I kind of really like those. I liked the Juicy Couture perfumes when those were popular. I really like those, so this might be something I'd like. I will try to get myself to Sephora and see if I can test it out because they do have some smaller sizes, so that's always you know, a great excuse. You can just get a little sample size and it's not that big of a deal. Okay, last but not least, we have a new reveal here for 2022, and this is going to be from Charlotte Tilbury. This is going to be the beautiful skin foundation for healthy looking skin. A science and color innovation foundation, medium coverage, instant glow, infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid a brightening rose complex to improve the look of skin every time you wear it skin looks radiant plump and smooth it's going to be 30 shades and it's going to be in a 30 ml bottle which is very standard this will be available on the 5th of january on the charlotte tilbury website so i promise you that the 5th of january will come sooner rather than later blink and we will already be in the new year and it looks like this is going to be a pump uh, foundation you know like it, once you take off the top i think it'll be a pump i'm not certain but 30 shades that's great charlotte tilbury you know she's a classic for a reason that is definitely my type of foundation so i mean right now as we speak in this exact moment i don't really know if i need i mean need is a very strong word i don't know if i need a new foundation but I could be persuaded. I definitely want to see what this is like. I'm not certain what my shade would be, but I'm certain I'll find something. And this will be permanent collection, so as much as we have this impulse to buy it the second it launches, this is going to be a permanent item. So I'm going to say we, oui, because it's going to be in a month from now. So yeah, we. Oui. So that is it for today's video. That is my take on will I buy it? We. Oui. No merci. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think of these new launches? What do you think of the Dior spring release, the new Charlotte Tilbury? 
sound off in the comments below. If you're new to my channel or if you've been watching me for some time but just haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Like, leave a comment, subscribe, and you can also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video because I do a lot of these will I buy it, we or no merci videos and I know a lot of people love them. I love them too because it's always just nice to know what's new, what's coming out, what's going to be on the horizon. A lot of us have beauty budgets, so it's kind of nice to just have an eye for what's coming out next, even for collections that I know I won't buy personally you might want to buy it. So that's why I share this information because, you know, there might be something out there that I know isn't for me, but it might be for you and you should be notified of this. All right, that's it for my little spiel. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.